ideas about like creating memories for yourself. You've done all this travel, um, but afterwards you want to have some really cool ways of remembering stuff. I've got the old boring ones, like a lot of people still write diaries. I did mine on my Kindle. I got an app so that I could type it up just so that it was in digital format if I wanted to use it another time. I did that for five and a half months. The manual ones, the ones where you're actually writing down, I think are quite cool because you can draw pictures and little maps and you can stick things like tickets and stuff on there. Um, you can do a little pocket at the back if you fold the page down and glue it around, you can make a pocket for all the little bits and pieces you collect. Um, and I've seen quite a few people doing them. Always using maps over here, everywhere. And one of my friend's parents actually, when they did theirs, wrote stories on the maps um, about the places that they went. Because you might have a map for a city, so you might like put over here that you met these people and you went and saw the marketplace or all the little things that you did. Another idea the same friend told me about and I really wanted to do, but didn't, was like when you're sleeping like that, or you could use it you know, on lots of things. You can get the, all the people you meet, because you meet heaps of people traveling, and they are so much a part of your experience. Um, and then you can get them to write messages or things on your sleeping liner. My problem is I don't wear my, I don't use my sleeping liner all the time, so I forgot about it. And the first lot of people that I met and travelled with, we travelled with for three weeks and I really felt so strongly about me that if I felt I started it after that, I was going to miss them and I had, it just didn't feel right. Another kind of cheesy thing that we didn't expect to do, but we ended up doing, are these little sew-on flags and they're pretty much found everywhere. And I know it's a little bit sort of, ooh, look where I've been. <laughs> but it's kind of, for me, it's more of a, kind of like a timeline um, of where I've been. And it's on the bag that has taken me there. So, I don't know, I, I quite like it. Um, I ended up, I decided to put one for my home. And then, sort of, this was my, this is my trip in a timeline with my dates on it. So for, for me, I quite enjoy that. They're quite easy to get, like I said, if they're not in one country, they'll be in your next country. And there's normally a stall of like 30 different flags on there, so you can get your home country or you know, all of those. I've seen Where the Hell Is Matt on YouTube. I'll put a link down below and take a look. Um, he basically dances all over the world and gets everybody to join in. And we decided to do our own little version of that. But you get everybody involved and most of the time we've got other people that are dancing with us. And it just makes it a lot of fun and there's, you know, a lot of memories. So, insert video. It's a bit crazy, but it's something to think about. A lot of people are starting to do with the GoPros, like 360 ones, is like little selfies. So you go in one place, do a little selfie around you in a circle, and then you go somewhere else and do another one. And then when you cut it, it just looks like you're sort of spinning into different places, that kind of thing. You could do cartwheels, you can do them cartwheeling along, you can do walking this way, that way. Every you, Awesome, awesome stuff that you can do with video nowadays. And free um computer programs just to cut them i mean obviously you can tell the videos that i'm cutting we're using really basic computer technology and really free basic cheap well free um computer programs that are really easy to run and upload on very terrible internet so <laughs> um it's not hard these days so get your thinking caps on and get some imagination going because there's some very cool things you can do out there. Happy travel! Bye!